Welcome back, everyone. We're now at the one year and five month mark of our Trim Restores longevity test. And I think we're gonna end this test next month based on what we're seeing here. I plan on doing a new test with the top five from this test and our other ceramic trim coatings test, along with some other non-traditional options like ceramic coatings that are intended for paint. This test will probably start sometime this spring. As usual, we will foam everything down with Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, and then we will rinse, foam it again, wash, and then of course dry so we can inspect everything, see how it's all holding up. These have sat outside our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week here in the East Texas Elements, and we've washed them once a month until the last one fails, or in this instance, decide to call a test. So the last 30 days weather is on your screen here. Also check out some of my awesome spreadsheets in the video description to find out more about these products. And as always, everything that's used for the wash, as well as info on where to buy them and so on. Also, here are ways you can support the channel, keep everything unsponsored with no outside influences. I don't have sponsors to keep happy, therefore we don't care what they think and you and I can find out the best products out there. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. On the black panel here, the heat gun India ink is in the upper left and of course Kiwi shoe dye. That's an old detailer's trick from the 80s with all the rubber bumpers and things like that. That it's still, still doing well, but I will put an asterisk next to that saying that it is tricky to get it uniform looking. So unless you have a lot of practice, it is pretty difficult. Rust-Oleum Wipe New, definitely a top performer along with Cerakote. Cerakote's starting to show a little bit of weakness compared to Rust-Oleum, and that black stuff looks great as well. Bla that black stuff's more of a matte finish. Shine Supply Trim Paint, looking very good. And Malco Epic Revive New, also a top performer. Solution Finish is starting to look pretty weak. You know, in the top five, it's questionable. And so onto the gray panel, which seem to be tougher for these products. And everything on the gray panel has two coats and the black panel has one coat, which basically to me, it seems like it made no difference. One or two, you're just kind of going after the uniformity. So again, Rust-Oleum Wipe New, looking good. Cerakote not looking quite as good. And that black stuff didn't perform that well on this panel. nor did Shine Supply Trim Paint. And Malco Epic Revive, probably not the top performer on this panel, but it's probably up there. And then Solution Finish didn't make it. There you go, guys. There is your update. Check out the spreadsheet and we will do a final update and go over everything next month. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.